Viri. Okay, okay, okay. Y'all are like, why are you in the dark, girl? Baby girl, what's going on? But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave the light not on me. But, um, I'm in the dark because look behind me. Ooh, so beautiful, so pretty. It's day number 10 of hashtag 12 days of Jesus. Um, y'all, I can like barely open my mouth because I just got ribbons in power jeans. But, Especially because the door bands, I can barely open my mouth. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, today's topic. Oh, make sure you stay tuned for the last two days tomorrow and on Christmas. Because it's going to be awesome. It's going to be great. Also, watch the last ones if you haven't. But, uh, today's topic is going to be the light of the world. So, by reading this title of this video, you probably already know what I'm talking about or who I'm talking about. But I'm basically talking about Jesus being the light of the world, the one who came to save us and just like brighten up, just brightens up our everyday lives or like whenever like we're feeling down or or like lost in this world, he just comes to save our souls and light up our life like the Bible even talks about even though we're in the um valley of the shadow of death we will fear no evil because he is with us he's a lily in the valley a light in the darkness a way out of no way every time i think of jesus being the light of the world i just i just think about like him just like literally being like the lily in the valley like you seem like it seems like there's no hope and then here comes jesus just saving the day so i made this wall i made this wall um about like a year ago um because like i said like on the like first day of 12 days of jesus i was going to be doing this last year but it just didn't work out it wasn't the lowest will or anything but um so i was filming filming making this wall and stuff and it was gonna be a part of it but yeah so i made this wall because one <laughs> like the light of the world and also because like as like God is like lighting up the room or lighting up the world he spreads these things that are on the wall like you see like hope you see like prayer like praise I don't know if you guys can see that like it's like joy or it's faith or love or something like that up there but yeah he just like spreads these things that gives us like hope as he lights up the world so I'm probably going to do a voiceover for the rest of this video. Just explaining the scriptures behind this and just explaining the message. And also, this was inspired by like a very, very short poem. It's, it's not really a poem, but like it's very, very short like creative writing thing that I did. So I'm going to read that and then I'm just going to go over like all the little scriptures. And then it's going to be the end of the video. So just stay tuned for that and get into it. <laughs> My God, you are the light of the world. When I begin to think of your goodness and all you foretell, a way maker out of no way, a literal light in the darkness. When I have no one else to depend on, I have you. From causing the lame to walk, the blind to see, and even the dead to live again, your goodness and mercy never fails. My God, you are the light of the world. So first of all, let me just shout out my Sunday school teacher that gave us this spiritual checklist, like with all these things or whatever. And then I added some scriptures too, but the first one is God and um, coming from Proverbs 3, 5 through 6 and 1 John four fifteen. So it says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding in all your ways. Acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. And 1 John says, whoever confesses that Jesus is the son of God, God abides in him and he in God. So basically just abiding god and i love this verse so much and well both of these verses so much and um just basically like when you think of like spiritual checklist having like like holding on to the lord's hand or just have like <laughs> packing the lord with you like god like let's go on this journey together so the next one is love which comes from first i mean <laughs> john 15 12 and leviticus 
19 and 18 and this these verses basically talk about like god commanding us to love and us not to um hold grudges against our neighbor and to, just to love each other and i feel like when god lights up the world he just spreads so much love around us and like <laughs> to everybody so why not include love and the next one is joy and this comes from psalm 35 and galatians 5 22 through 23 and i feel like this is like <laughs> what god like brings when he lights up the world like so much joy in the dark dark places and he, the verses even talks about joy coming in the morning and the fruits of the spirit being joy peace love long suffering and everything so just take on joy like that's what jesus brings when he lights up the world so basically jesus is like the holy ghost like how can i like make this video talking about jesus and not clue holy ghost so this comes from acts 1 8 and romans 14 17 to 18 this verse is just basically talking about us receiving power after the holy holy spirit comes upon us and um basically uh we receive peace and joy in the holy spirit and so like <laughs> no other way but to get joy and light of the world through the, the holy ghost so another thing is faith, which comes, which comes from Hebrews 11, 1 and James 2, 26. And these verses are basically talking about faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. And faith apart from works is dead. So basically, how can you be a believer? How can you believe in Jesus Christ, the light of the world, without having faith? And like just having faith in him that he can perform miracle signs and wonders is just crazy amazing next thing that jesus brings is hope so this comes from roman 8 romans 8 24 and romans 15 13 and he's just basically talking about with us being saved in hope and hope that is seen is not hope so like if you say like you have hope but you actually see it then it's not hope because like you see it and um it talks about um god like filling us with hope and joy and peace so we can just rest in his hope like knowing that there's a better and greater future the next thing that jesus brings to us he's like so the world is prayer which comes from matthew 26 14 in first thessalonians 5 17 and i got into a little bit of this in yesterday's video but um so basically like i was just thinking about how jesus like was on this earth like his time on the earth like all he did like was pray like to god and fast and stuff like that and like he just like encouraged like we can just be encouraged through prayer like knowing like putting our trust in god like bringing our request before god the next thing that jesus bring as he lights up the world is the holy bible which comes from john 1 1 and john 1 14 so basically it tells us about in the beginning was the word and the word was god and the word was with god and stuff like that and um like the word becoming flesh and dwelling among us like which is jesus our lord and savior so how can he light up the world without like having like god's word like how how can we like have a little world without having like his word like coming to reality so as jesus lights up the world he brings praise y'all which comes from first peter 2 and 9 and psalms 156 which just basically tells us we will proclaim the praises of the one who called us out of the darkness into the marvelous light and let everything that have breath praise you the lord so when jesus comes back y'all we're going to be singing praises to the almighty god like every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that he is lord so y'all just get ready to praise his name okay so guys that's uh, gonna be like the end of the video i love you guys so 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 much like you guys don't even understand but um stay tuned <laughs> i can't even talk stay tuned for tomorrow and christmas love you guys bye beauties